Let's look at converting between degrees and radians. For example, let's convert 120 degrees to radian measure in terms of pi. Now we have the following conversion formulas, that one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians, and one radian is equal to 180 divided by pi degrees. Before applying these though, let's take a minute to think about why they're true. Let's think of a unit circle, that is a circle with radius one. Remember that the radian measure of this angle here is the length of this corresponding arc. So what would the radian measure be of one full rotation? Wouldn't that be the length all the way around this unit circle? That is the circumference of this circle, which is 2 pi times the radius, which is 1. Therefore, one rotation measures 2 pi radians. And what is the degree measure of one full rotation? Isn't that 360 degrees? So regardless of what measure we use to measure one full rotation, the measure has to be the same. That is, 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees, or dividing both sides by 2, we get pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And if we divide both sides of this equation by pi, we'll get the second conversion here. And if we divide both sides by 180, we'll get the first conversion here. And we'll use this first equation when we convert from degrees to radians. And we'll use the second equation when we convert from radians to degrees. So here we're asked to convert from degrees to radians, so we'll be using this first conversion here. That is, 120 degrees is equal to 120 times the radian measure of 1 degree, which is pi divided by 180 radians. And both 180 and 120 are divisible by 60, so we'll be left with a 2 here and a 3 here. That is, the radian measure of 120 degrees is 2 pi divided by 3 radians. And sometimes when we measure in radians, the word radians will be dropped and we just write 2 pi divided by 3. All right, let's see another example. Let's convert negative 5 pi divided by 4 radians to degree measure. Again, we have the following conversions, but since we're going from radians to degrees, we're going to be using the second one now. That is negative 5 pi over 4 radians is equal to negative 5 pi over 4 times 1 radian is 180 divided by pi degrees. And then the pi's will cancel. And 4 goes into 180 45 times. Therefore, this is equal to negative 5 times 45, or negative 225 degrees, which would be our answer. And this is how we convert between degree and radian measure. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.